And that shit just twinkles on down the motherfucking YouTube. That shit just trinkles down to all, you know, just to we as women. And we just find shit on another bitch that we just don't like. And it's like, you know, bitch, I can't stand you. I hate the ground you fucking walk on. Because this bitch look better than you. Because this bitch is able to spend a little bit more money than you could spend. Because her tax bracket might be a little bit different than yours. Then guess what, bitch? I can't stand you. That's dumb. It's stupid. Stupid as fuck. I mean, it's seriously dumb. And it's like, I, I mean, and, and this shit is just running rampant on motherfucking YouTube. I mean, it's like, what the fuck is it? I mean, god damn. I mean, most of us on this motherfucker are mothers. Most of us are mothers. And it's like, what the fuck is all of this dumb ass shit about? For real? I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it at all. I'm just not getting it. And old girl got every right to shoot damn near really do something to Tammy's motherfucking ass. I don't want to say that. But, you know, you put fear in a motherfucker, you know, to a fucking degree where motherfuckers are fearing for their life and shit, and you intimidating them with all of this right here, and the motherfucker bump your ass off, it ain't no good. It's not even worth it. It's not worth that shit. It's stupid, you know? It's really stupid. And and the and the the anger and the the jealousy and the vindictiveness that that's rampant on this motherfucker. Bitch is trying to find out where in the fuck I live at, trying to get my goddamn contact numbers and I mean, goddamn. I mean <laughs> It's crazy. It is it's crazy. It's very crazy. I mean, it's, it's just so out there. I mean, it's very fucking looped. It's looped as a motherfucker. And we really, as a whole, need to get it together. Because I'm still trying to find somebody on fucking YouTube that I find so fucking enticing that I just cannot stand this bitch. And I don't have nobody on YouTube. And I have to say, for God is my motherfucking witness, throw some shit through my skylight right now. I don't know of no lady on YouTube. Let me say for the record that have anything that I can't get. I don't know of no woman on YouTube that I find this bitch so goddamn, you know, intriguing that I want to take on her life. I want to, you know, I don't know. I mean, I don't, whoo, Lord have mercy. I can only imagine what life is for Kim Kardashian. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm no Kim fucking Kardashian. I'm no Kim K, okay? I'm, you know, I'm a swap me bitch compared to what she goes through. You know what I mean? But it's like, man, when motherfuckers look at you and find your shit so motherfucking relevant, whereas motherfuckers just look at you and be like, I just can't stand this bitch. Ooh, this bitch here. Ooh, man, I wish this bitch just get hit by a car or whatever. That shit is something's wrong with you. I mean, there's really, really something's not firing off. It's like something is really wrong. And it it's so rampant on this motherfucker, whereas bitches, and, and, and it's so crazy because what's so crazy about it is these motherfuckers is in hiding, okay? Because they watch my shit every day, wait for me to post a video, and as soon as I post that motherfucker, Oh, I don't like what she got on today. I don't like what she's saying. So guess what? I'm getting ready. You know what? I know what I'm finna do. I'm finna do some gang banging on YouTube. You know what? My name today is, my name is goddamn me Candy Girl. I'm Candy Girl today. And I'm finna just, I, all the shit I really want to say that I just can't really say, goddamn it. I'm finna say all this shit right now. I just enter. That shit is so goddamn stupid. I mean, y'all just think about it for a second. Just fucking think about it for a second. You know what I'm saying? It should be nobody that you should find so motherfucking appealing that you are just willing to just go to such fucking great lengths. Because really, you don't change nothing in this person's life. You really don't. You don't keep shit going on in their motherfucking life. And they really don't give a fuck about you. So it's like... Why give them that much? Because you ain't doing nothing but validating to them that they are the shit.
Because motherfuckers that don't have nothing and don't have nothing going on, motherfuckers ain't on your bandwagon. Motherfuckers, as a matter of fact, they feeling sorry for your ass and, you know what I'm saying, tr- getting ready to do an offering and then pass a collection plate for your ass. But you know that you have arrived. That's when you know that you have arrived to a certain degree. That's when you know that it's something about you that is so motherfucking bomb. For motherfuckers that have to do go to those lengths, you know you've arrived, you know. But and but then again, that shit can be rather scary because you don't know what a motherfucker motherfucker can be so goddamn looped up here and so goddamn envious and all that other shit. You don't know what the motherfuckers will do to your ass. You better check that shit out. You know what I'm saying? Because here, uh, Holly Berry and all these motherfuckers got stalkers all the goddamn time. I've had my share of these motherfuckers. And it is no joke. It's not even funny. That shit is crazy. You should have, there should be, I mean, there, there's nothing wrong because I find, I, there's certain women I find to be highly attractive. Um... Let me see. When I look at, let's see, who do I find just so fucking attractive? You know, even in the business world, in the entertainment world, I find Janet Jackson to be a very attractive lady. I find Beyonce to be a very talented lady. She's very pretty. I think, personally, I think Kelly Rowland look a little bit better than Beyonce to me. That's just my own personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? But I think um, Beyonce is very creative. I think she's very entertaining. I think she's very talented. But if you want to go by aesthetics, I think um, uh, Kelly Rowland is a very gorgeous, gorgeous in the face young lady. I mean, gorgeous. For real. Um, Let's see, who else do I... Mm. On YouTube, there's nobody on YouTube that I want to be. <laughs> Seriously, there's nobody that I look at on YouTube that I really want to mimic and like, you know, take on her identity and, you know, be just like her and, you know, go to the places that she go and do the things that she do and, you know, be on her bank account and part of her taxes and shit. I don't see, I ain't found one motherfucker yet on YouTube that I'm like, bitch, I want your life. <laughs> and I'm not saying that because I think mine's is the shit. Because to be perfectly honest with you, there's shit in my life that I need to change. There's shit in my life that I find that I need to work on. You know what I'm saying? When I look at my life, you know, I, I, I see my own quirks and my own things that I need to work on. I was just talking to Tony yesterday, and I was thanking him for his patience. I was thanking him for always being here. I was thanking him for all of the things that he do for me. You know? Because, what is it? If it wasn't for Senior, I don't know where I would be. And that's keeping it motherfucking real. You know what I'm saying? Senior has really given me a life that I can't, I can't shake, a, shake a motherfucking stick at. You know what I'm saying? I'm able to sit here like a motherfucker. Hell, I got nurse's license. And a lot of motherfuckers just keep asking, well, what about nursing? And what about nursing? Well, I don't have to get no motherfucking job. It's like motherfuckers just see me kicking it. And it's like, well, how come you won't go to work? And how come you won't go? Because I don't have to. Because I don't have to. I mean, I got all my motherfucking shit on right here. I got my internet. I got my motherfucking direct TV and motherfucking Zoom Zooms and Wham Whams and all bed full of motherfucking clothes and goddamn... Accessories and shit all around my mother. Man, what? <laughs> In case some shit go haywire, just know 
that in case some shit go haywire and I need to take care of that those three that I have or even if something happens to their dad and he needs me to provide he needs me to go to work to see to it that some things happen and some things work out right I got that okay I got it I appreciate you guys is um, uh, concern and all that kinds of stuff. I appreciate you guys' concern. I really, really do. But I'm okay. I really am. I'm okay. And I don't fuck with nobody. I don't fuck with nobody. I don't ask nobody for nothing. I don't backbite on motherfuckers. I don't ride on nobody else's coattail. You know, I think I'm um, looking at a lot of channels on YouTube. I mean, hell, I I don't see too many channels like my channel. And I'm just being honest. And it's not like I'm trying to stand out or stand aside from everybody because that's not it either. I can only be my authentic self. My authentic self might not work for everybody. You understand what I'm saying? What I do might not be the shit for you. You know what I'm saying? But hell, this is my authentic self. And I choose to be open enough with my lifestyle and with my life to take you guys along with me. Okay? So it's not like, you know, YouTube ain't paying me. I don't have no partnership with YouTube. You know, I hear a lot of people say, Tina, why don't you get partnership? You know, I think about it from time to time on getting partnership. But I like to know what all the shit entails now. Because my mouth is potty. I don't know if you can have a potty mouth and be a partner. You know what I'm saying? Is it going to change up my get down? I mean, is it going to change up the way in which I do things? You know what I mean? I want to know all that shit before I get to sign it on the dotted line. You know what I'm saying? Shit, just keep, you know, that little, um, I think, I think all together I probably got about, I don't know, two or three hundred dollars on my video thing. You know, the advertisements or whatever that, um, um, thing. You know what I mean? I think I probably got probably that much. I don't know. But, you know, it, it, it's, I do this for the fun. I do this out of fun. I do this out of just, I don't know, I guess I'm just open and I'm, I'm open. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable with who I am. I'm comfortable with what I bring to the table. It's obvious I don't have no fear because if I had a fear of anything, I don't think I would be as forthright. Motherfuckers that, that's running behind shit and running from the IRS and running from the FBI and Motherfuckers on parole and motherfuckers is on, you know, running from niggas and all that. Man, they wouldn't say half the shit that I say on this motherfucker. 